Thanks for tuning in to Biohackly. In this video, I'm going to show you how I set up my longevity ozone generator for ozone cupping. All right, let's get started. This video is for informational purposes only and is not intended to be medical advice. Please seek advice from your medical doctor before you try anything like this at home. Okay, so let me start by showing you the equipment that I use when I do cupping. And I have this glass unit that I got from Longevity Resources. And this is available in different sizes. And it looks kind of just like a, a glass a funnel upside down. But this is actually an ozone destruct unit here. If you watched my bagging video, I use this ozone destruct unit right here on the bagging. But in this case, it's actually built right into the cup. Now when you're doing cupping, just like when you're doing bagging, you need to have moisture on the area. So you could use something like this and you could actually just mist it a little bit and get some moisture in there. I'm actually using a water bubbler here, a glass water bubbler, to add some humidity to the ozone. So how that works is the ozone's gonna come out through here, through the glass check valve or trap into the water bubbler the ozone is going to go through the water. You can see I've got water on the bottom here and it's going to humidify the ozone, which is going to come through this tube to my glass cupping device. And then I would put that on a flat surface. It's actually meant to go on a flat surface like, you know, your stomach or your leg or something like that, your back. Um, because if you're going to use it on an arm, you would actually use the bagging. It would be make more sense. And so the reason for the check valve, of course, is so that there's no, if there's ever any back pressure here, it doesn't actually end up pushing the water back through into the machine because the last thing you want in one of these ozone generators is to get any kind of moisture in there, um, any humidity or even uh, just back pressure alone. So that's why we've got this set up here. On the left hand side you can see I have a Longevity Resources oxygen tank. This is an industrial oxygen tank. It's filled with food grade oxygen. Uh, Longevity Resources has this in multiple sizes so you can get a smaller or even much bigger full size. This is the gold standard of oxygen regulators that I've got here. This is also from Longevity Resources. You can see I have another one on the table right here. Very, very well manufactured, very high-end oxygen regulators. I always suggest to people to get a better oxygen regulator. If you're using a cheap one that's in the you know, $100 range, $150 range, or even cheaper, there is a chance that you may end up having an inaccurate flow, and that would affect the gamma that you're creating through your ozone generator. So it's important to get a better oxygen regulator so you can control that gamma, your flow on your oxygen tank, which is gonna control the gamma here. And also, if you get a cheap regulator, there is a chance that they might leak over time. And that's the last thing you want is to have a leaking oxygen regulator. So these regulators from Longevity will actually work on any industrial tank. So if you've got a different tank, you can just get a hold of Longevity at ozonegenerator.com and order one of these better regulators and put it on your tank. Longevity also has medical grade tank and medical grade regulators for medical applications. On the right hand side I have my Longevity Resources ozone generator. This is an EXT120T Ultra and this is their newest unit developed with Neos technology. It's all digital. You can see it has a digital timer and I've got a little readout on the right hand side which shows my ozone concentration. The timer I've got set for five minutes right now. The way that this machine works is once I hit start it's going to start generating the ozone with the oxygen running into it and when it gets to zero it's going to stop and automatically stop generating ozone although the machine will still be on until I turn the power off. The reason that I ended up with this longevity resources um, ozone generator is I started watching videos on YouTube with uh, Dr. Robert Rowan who's got some fantastic testimonials and Dr. Gary Gordon and Dr. Frank Schellenberger and they all suggest longevity resources. I went to their website, I did a little bit, bit of homework, I'm going to bring up a graphic that shows some of the clients that are using their units. Everybody from Caltech to NASA to Boeing to, I mean it's amazing, you know, Carl Zeiss Lenz, they really have MIT, they really have the who's who using their machines all around the world. These guys have been around for 20 years. These things are manufactured in North America. Buy an ozone generator from North America if you can manufacture it here because if you get one from China you just don't know what's inside and when you're buying a cheaper ozone generator you're generally getting cheaper parts. And if, and if there are parts inside that are not ozone resistant, they eventually will break down and you'll end up with some of those toxins in your ozone. So buy a better machine. This one from Longevity is kind of in their middle range. There's two higher level ones and there's about two or three below this. So it's not an expensive machine. And by the way, they also have the best warranty that I could find out there. So 
this, I'm expecting this and my regulator and everything to last a long, long time. So it's worth it to spend a little bit extra money. Going back to the gamma, you can see that I've got set to five minutes right now. And Dr. Schellenberger suggests using the, um, the cupping for five to 15 minutes, two to three times a day at a gamma of 35 for wound healing and 80 for infections. And so if I looked at my longevity chart here and I went over to number four and I went down, you can see that at 1 16th, I'm gonna end up with 37.4 gamma. So I've got it set to number four right here. I would turn this to 1 16th flow on my oxygen regulator and that would produce 37.4 gamma, which is right around the 35 range. By the way, this chart's also available on the top of the ozone generator, so you never have to worry about losing this. But if you actually want all of the accurate protocols, you're better buying the Ozone Miracle from Dr. Frank Schellenberger. That's his new book. It's available on Amazon.com. Dr. Frank Schellenberger's new book covers pretty well every ozone protocol that you would want to learn. It answers every question that I think you'd ever have. It's really a fantastic book, and it's written in layman terms. Dr. Schellenberger has another book out called The Principles and Applications of Ozone Therapy, A Practical Guide for Physicians. And this is a fairly technical book. It's really made for physicians. But his new book, The Ozone Miracle, is made for the layman to understand. So get that from Amazon.com. I'll actually put a link down below in the description for that. So that's how we're determining our gamma. Now to connect this up, uh, what we would do is we would First of all, connect our oxygen tank to the input of our ozone generator through this clear line right here. And that's a quick connect, so that just slides together and fits really nicely together. And I'm gonna take the ozone output line, which is this silicone line here, and I'm gonna go into the top of the glass trap. And that'll only go into the top. That won't go into the bottom because this is a male connector on this end and a female connector up here. So it'll actually only plug in one way. And now what I'll do is I'll actually take the output from the bottom and I'll run it into the top of glass bubbler. And finally, we're gonna take our hose here. This one might be a little bit long, but it's okay. I, I use this one for my ozone sauna as well. And I'm gonna take the output from the glass bubbler and I'll run that into the input on my glass cupping device here. Now, typically what I would do for this in fact, before I go into this, one of, the, one of the reasons that we do cupping, and Dr. Frank Schellenberger suggests that cupping is great for any type of infections or rashes uh, or anything like that. So if you get the book I mentioned earlier, The Ozone Miracle, you'll find throughout the book he actually refers to cupping um, in numerous places throughout the book. So it's actually got a, a, a ton of great, um, he's got a ton of great suggestions for uh, different things that you might want to treat. Now. In order to get this running, what I would do first of all is I would actually put this on the area. So let's say I'm gonna do it on my stomach. Now, of course I wouldn't have my shirt on. I would be doing it right on, on bare skin. And at this point I would hit the start button and I would turn that flow on my oxygen regulator to 1 16th. Well, actually first of all, I'm gonna open up the valve on the oxygen tank. And then I'm gonna hit the start button here. And then I'm gonna change that to 1 16th and I'm gonna get the flow running through. And, and as soon as you start that, you're gonna see the bubbles going through the water there. And you won't smell any ozone coming out because it's a sealed, it's completely sealed. This is gonna convert it back to oxygen. So once the ozone goes through and then comes out that ozone destruct unit, it comes out as oxygen and it's harmless. I would keep this on for five minutes. As soon as that gets down to zero, it's gonna turn off the ozone generator inside the box here it's gonna start producing ozone. So what I would do is I would then turn this oxygen regulator to off. I would close that valve. And then I would take this off and I would disconnect everything. Now there's an order to disconnect everything. But the first thing we wanna do is disconnect the bubbler from the trap right here. And secondly, we're gonna to wanna to disconnect the bubbler from this line here. And I can disconnect it from here as well. And then finally, we want to disconnect the trap from the ozone generator and the clear line from the oxygen tank into the ozone generator. And that pretty well wraps it up. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe and share the video. I'll put a link down below for The Ozone Miracle, Dr. Frank Schellenberger's new book. And I'll also put a link for Longevity Resources O, the ozone generator website and I'll put their phone numbers in there and I'll actually put the model numbers of the different products in the description as well so if you wanted to order that 
um, oxygen regulator or one of these um, ozone generators, um, you'll have the link below and you'll have the uh, model numbers and everything else. So that's it. Thanks for watching.